Empowered life is doing what you need and helping others do the same at the right time and without restraint. To consistently connect with others and make simple, sustainable changes every day that will pave the way for greater good. <laughs> we thought we'd start with a video tonight because we're launching the Empowered Success um, and I thought that was quite a cool video. Sums welcome, up. welcome, welcome, welcome. Streaming live from Pleasant Grove, <laughs> Okay, Justin, Utah. we'll just ask Justin to, to stop. <laughs> I was just frantically trying to get rid of it, wondering what was going on <laughs> and what my phone was doing. I've just turned you off and then... <laughs> Oh my gosh, what's going on? <laughs> it's a party! It's a party tonight! <laughs> uh, power <to> success! <laughs> Welcome to tonight's call. We're just gonna start officially now. <laughs> yes. Welcome everybody. So I'm just going to mute everybody. If you would like to chat, then just unmute yourself. Um, so um, it's quite a few of the team away. A lot of the team actually, quite a few of the team won the incentive trip. So they're all in Sicily right now. So that's really exciting. Um, yeah, I've seen the pictures. It looks shame lovely. Shame for all of us left at home. Very hot. But we're still mm. talking about it too much. <laughs> we'll move on. It's lovely yeah. weather here. It's move been lovely quickly. today. The so, clouds, lovely, lovely. <laughs> so we have leadership retreat coming up this week. So those of you that are, you know, premium and above, um, if and that are coming, it's on. It's this Friday. Don't forget, you're going to Sicily on Friday. Half of you already there, but some of you are still coming. Um, and for those of you that are coming there is an empowered success morning on friday which is kind of a bit last minute but natalie goddard and hayley hobson and rebecca um and others and others are putting that morning on to help those so you can book that in i think it's like five pounds to book in on that in the morning yeah it's mainly going to be the ranked guides so those of you that are coming the leadership retreat will cover the empowered success basic tools but they're not going to be covering the ranking guides, um, mainly because the ranking guides are still being reviewed um, within corporate with the, um, the team that need to look at it. I can't remember what the name, <laughs> the official name is. Compliance. Compliance. There we go. Compliance. Thanks, good, mate. Good guess. This is why you need two people to do this. Um, so yeah, <laughs> the compliance team are looking at those ranking guides, so um, they're not ready yet to be sold and launched. So that's why corporate can't cover it in the actual leadership retreat. So that's why we're doing a, an extra morning to go through the ranking guides. So it's definitely worth going to. So if you're going to Sicily for the leadership, definitely go and book on to that. And we've got Natalie Goddard who wrote a lot of it, and Hayley Hobson who's amazing I incredible well. i think she had some input as well actually i think you're right yeah. so they'll be there sharing you know how to use the guide so i'm looking forward to learning lots as well and then then there'll be myself but other leaders also just giving some tips so it's going to be a really good morning yes. come. um have a look at the doTERRA on tour on tour so on doTERRA every day europe every day there is um tours that corporates are doing throughout october and november um, so look in your area or close to you, there'll be a tour. Uh, part of those tours, one of them is the main tour, which is on, which is in Milton Keynes on the 30th of November, which is a UK Builders Day run by the leaders in the UK. Um, and it's a UK Oil Day, which is for um, anybody that's a customer or anybody that wants to learn more about essential oils or all of us. It's all about essential oils that day. It's the learning more and it's, it's a really great day. Corporate will be running mm -hmm. that and the UK builders will be running the day before. It's one of the Facebook groups. So if you want to know any more, then just let us know. Yeah, I definitely really, again, really encourage you to go. Um, it, it doesn't happen very often, these events. These are two-day events. Mm -hmm. You get a lot from them. People get very inspired. You get to hear from lots of different leaders and network. 
Um, there's another day as well worth mentioning. I think it's the 18th of November, it's Saturday, I think, that Hayley, we're going to Dota every day. But just in case you're not aware, Hayley Hobson's coming to do a day's training in Birmingham. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be based on mindset, she says. So it's more kind of, it's a mindset day, which, you know, is very important. <laughs> it is. So. Um, and then there's another thing. Uh, so one of our team, a lady called Karina, she's a silver. Um, Karina, are you on? Yes, I'm here. Hi. Hey. Hello, Karina. Hey, Hello. Karina. So <laughs> Karina has been very lovely and opened up Always her lovely. show to, um, to two or three people. So it's a sleep show this coming weekend. Is that right? That's right, isn't it, Karina? Sleep. It is this weekend, yes. And so Karina normally does, or does every year, the Hampton Court Flower Show and does an amazing stand. So. Yeah. She's really like displays of out of this world. Really good. <laughs> Very impressive. Um, have you guys probably got a pillow and a bed on this stand? Then have you tweeted that? We've got a lot going on this one. <laughs> so if you want to go along and just rock up, we'll go for a sleep. this is the thing to do. I think it's £100 per day, and I think there's maybe two or three slots available. Is that right, Karina? Yeah, I've actually got two slots on the Friday and two on the Sunday that are available. So... Mm -hmm. Potentially four. <laughs> so four slots. Right. Okay, and whereabouts is it, Karina? So it's in East London. It's a Truman Brewery. Um, it's a Somnex sleep show. So it's it's an interesting new exhibition, and it's basically the setup there is that they have loads of yogis, nutritionists, and people with sleep technology, and we're providing the natural sleep support with the essential oils as a kind of nice juxtaposition against all of that sleep technology that's available. So it should be really interesting. Terrific. And what's the um the footfall roughly just to give them an idea how big uh, it is. do you know what I cannot remember. <laughs> they did tell me this. I've got it on an email somewhere. It's quite big. It's um, a big biggish show then I'm imagining it is quite big, yeah. It's it's cool. it's not as big as the Om Yoga show that I do, but um just trying to find it now. I think let me just find it here. Come back to me in a second. We can come back to you. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. So yes, it, it, so what do they do? It's, it's yeah. £100 um, uh, per slot, and that's a whole day slot. You get all of the contacts that you make on that day. They're all yours. Anyone you speak to, they are yours. Okay. If you'd like to know more and want to speak to Karina about it, then let us know. Um, Karina, if you want to, you can put a post on Silver Blossom, and then people can just comment on there if they want to. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Lots of my team couldn't manage it this weekend because it was late notice. No. So I'd love some extra hands on deck. It would be great. <laughs> yeah, so if anyone would like to be a part of that, which is an awesome opportunity, um, then there you go. Karina's lovely and put it out there for the whole team. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, yeah. Karina. For... And it is a great opportunity because basically you can just walk up. You don't have to organise it. Karina's done it all. <laughs> so, I wish someone know, had done that for us. I know. I want to do it. Maybe we, we do go. Do. Maybe we do oh, go. We'll, Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll take the spot, Karina. We're in Sicily. <laughs> oh, please come. <laughs> all done. Don't have to do the show. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Karina. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, uh, so... Congratulations to our top enrollers for last month. Um, we, well done. we didn't have the opportunity last week to do it, but we're doing it this week. So, um, well done to Denise, who got 14, um, our top enroller for the month. Um, September was actually a tricky month uh, last month because there wasn't a deal. Went, mm -hmm. uh, well, no, there was a deal last month. There was a deal this month, but it was getting back into it was tricky. Mm -hmm. um, and Daniel with 13, Lisa and Debbie with 11. Um, Gus and Kim with nine and Neil Young with eight. Congratulations, guys. Well done. Amazing. Well done. Um, and then we had some um, rank advancements in September as well. Ooh. So if you notice here, there's a couple here that actually were some of the top enrollers as well. So well done to Denise, who hit Premier. She also was the top enroller as well. So well done, Denise. Had a great, great month well in September hitting Premier. Um, and then we had five elites. So well done to Lisa, Emily, Rosemary and Christina and Sharon for hitting elite in September. Amazing. Um, oh, where's the um, photos? What photos? The ones. <laughs> so everyone, the photo of this that I sent you. It's at the end. Oh, is it? Oh, perfect. Can we get to that? Perfect. Okay. Thanks, baby. I need one photo. Oh, there's two. 
Oh, okay, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, cool. Well, we can thing. improvise. This is what they tell us all about. <laughs> Thanks, me. Um, okay, so um, I am just going to spend. I'm going to get out of here. Let um, me just share the screen. Oh, I want to share the screen. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to get up to doTERRA.com. Um, so basically, stop leaving it for me. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I can concentrate on what I'm saying. <laughs> Perfect. So the Empowered Success, very, very excited about this. This, um, I'm sure you've all heard um, different things about it. You've probably even gone on to daytail.com. I'm going to go on there now with you in case those of you that haven't um, can come with us onto this site um, just to make sure you know where it is. And just going to kind of give you a summary of it tonight because we are going to be launching the Empowered Success is a training system um, from the 22nd of October. So from Monday the 22nd of October onwards, um, we're going to be um, joining with our other you know, frontline leaders and sharing the training system so that you guys can feel really confident in how to use Empowered Success to build your business. Um, now, if we go to... So where are we going to? So we're advocates. going to advocates here, yeah. So this is the American one. I'm going to show the UK one as well in a second. We've got a UK, doTERRA.co.uk site now. And so they're going to have, um, they're going to be slightly different. So the, the brochures are being changed slightly to suit the UK market a bit more. But also certainly the ones with um, prices in them are going to be on the UK one. So that's where you, you want to go. But for the moment, because we're here, that's perfect. We'll go on to... Advocate and on to empowered success, please. So basically what this was, as you, you would have heard in the video, is um, a lot of the main leaders, and, and if you came onto the call last week, Rod Richardson, who was the head of the Edge Success system, um, that, that was a great system, and then we had the Shared Success system by the Goddards, it was also a good system. Um, I personally, when we started, we didn't really connect with the system. Um, it still felt a bit complicated and also it was quite costly to buy the materials. So that's why we didn't, we, we, we did kind of what the systems were, were saying and adapted it to the English market. So these things that you're gonna learn in the Empowered Success system, a lot of it is what we've been doing, but it's just put in a really good structured and simple format and easy to follow along and easy to duplicate and also what it's designed to do is, um, you know, with mentoring, we can often spend so much time mentoring, can't we? And, and sometimes the builders perhaps won't even turn into builders. Whereas this gives people more of a chance to be independent and for you to guide them through the process. So we'll be talking about how you can do that, how you can guide people through the process. And we're not going to let people just train themselves. I mean, there is that option if they don't have an upline, there's enough material for people to really get a good understanding of what the business is here. Um, but we still want to support them and, and we'll teach you, you know, the, the ideal way of how to train somebody using the Empower Success system and how to train yourself. But it's just a really good um, structure that you can have to help, you know, duplicate the, the business, which is literally the, one of the biggest keys to success in this business. So. Um, I want, I'm going to set some homework. It's a bit different to normal, but I, I, I want you guys, before we start doing the training, so not next Monday, but the Monday after, we're going to start properly doing the training. Um, please, can you all go on to doTERRA.com? This is what I recommend you do. So you become familiar with the system. Just have a quick look at it. So the Empowered Success system here. Um, this is what we're going to be following, okay? So this launch camp is going to be coming out, and we're going to be following that as our training. Um, but down here, I recommend you sign up for these Empowered Success webinar training. So these are tools that are available to you guys that we haven't had before. And you can, tr you can sign up to these webinars um, if you can't make the time that they are, because they're once a month. You can go onto the archive here and you can watch in your own time, your own leisure, these different topics, okay? So these are key topics that um, successful leaders in doTERRA 
have done a webinar on. So these are things to help get inspired. So, you know, part of the success of this business um, is education, isn't it? And you need to be educating yourself constantly. So in the oils, you want to be educating yourself, um, <coughs> but also with the business side as well. So this is your business time. So whatever time you have, you know, if you're doing the business a bit every day, and I recommend 15 to 20 minutes every day, you want to be spending nurturing your mind and feeding your mind and learning about the business. And so this is where I would suggest you put that time now. Okay, is getting familiar with the Empowered Success System and using the materials that are available to you. Um, by the way, I haven't forgotten about Melanie and Renchia. I'm sharing a couple of things in a second. <laughs> um, there's also a Facebook group that you can become a member of, and that's quite good. It posts, they post um, business tips and things on there. But then, before next, before the time we start so before two weeks time if you can go on to the natural solutions class here so you can have a look at these other ones you can familiarize yourself with them if you want to um, we will be going through each guide step by step and showing you how you can use it how we suggest you use it but before the next time before we start we're going to be starting with the class um, I suggest you watch these videos so this talks about this new handout, which is the Natural Solutions class handout. Okay, and um, I've been teaching the class a certain way, I'd say, for about, well, since the beginning. I've tweaked it a little bit, um, but actually pretty much followed the same class. Mm. Huh. And, you know, it has worked, it has worked, but um, I have found it and sometimes quite hard to duplicate, and there's some things that, you know, I haven't known what to do to perhaps make it better. Did you say it has worked? Did you say? Yeah. I'd say it has yeah, worked. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, but I do love this natural solutions class. So this natural solutions class isn't isn't completely different to class that we've been teaching. I think it's a really good class. I've been teaching it for the last month and I'm really liking it. So this is where we're going to start the training on this natural solutions class. And what I love about it is that it comes with a handout. It's going to be very affordable. Um, it's a handout that we're going to be able to buy on the back office. Well, you can print them yourself. You can print them yourself, but I think it's going to be cheaper to buy. To be honest, mm -hmm. I think the cost of the ink will be more expensive. But if you really can't wait till we can buy them on the back office, um, which I was told today is, is hopefully going to be next week. So we have leadership this week and then the natural solutions handout and the live, share and build handouts are all going to be available next week. OK, so we should be able to buy these on our back office from next week, which is really very exciting. Um, so this is where we're going to start our training in two weeks times on the natural solutions class. OK, now, um, if you go, Michelle, I haven't forgotten anything there. These are at the moment currently in English. Okay, so the first things that are coming out next week are all going to be in English. However, um, I did go on to doTERRA every day EU, which is good. So if you've got people in different countries speaking different languages, then the place to go for your tools is doTERRA every day EU. And you can search by language to find the tools that you want you know, what they've got in your language. Now, German is the, the language at the moment that does have the live, the launch, and the build guide. Okay, and I'm gonna give a summary in a second of just what you're gonna use these guides for. Um, but these guides, the live, the build, and the launch, and the natural solutions class are all in German. So if you've got people in Germany, then you're in luck. You know, that's the next um, market that's going to have all these materials. So again, I was told today that the English will come out probably next week and the German material is going to come out perhaps the week after. So very closely. And then they're still working on the other languages. So we're not sure when they're going to come out. Um, so if you do want them in the, in the UK, um, in the English, then go to doTERRA.co.uk. I won't bother going there now. But if you go to doTERRA.co.uk, you can literally print off these materials now if, if you want to kind of start using them 
if not wait for a week and then you can buy them off your back office <laughs> and the natural solutions class has been converted into the UK money which is really exciting because that's another reason why I didn't want to use resources before was because they were always in dollars so we're actually going to have it in pounds which is which is really you know that's that's a huge thing great um okay let me just see what else there was um okay the other thing is that um you can buy this essential oils book clip which i don't think they're showing here so from what have you got? I, think it's up. I don't think is it there i think it's there Ah, yes, yes, perfect, thank you, Nate. Yes, it's Essential Oils booklet now. They have got them in the warehouse. So just in case you're not aware, from, I think from next week onwards, when any person enrolls, they will not be getting um, the welcome pack that you're used to getting and the one that you got. So they won't be getting the Live, Share and Build guides. Um, Hallelujah. And they won't be getting the product um, brochure anymore, which which we think is really good um, because, you know, it can put people off. It's a bit too much. And so they Most get Most people this... want to sign up as customers, don't they? So they're just yeah. going to be talking about essential oils <laughs> and then we share with them about the business. One, sorry. Yeah, exactly. No, it's perfect. Um, so the doTERRA essential oils booklet, if you haven't seen it, it's beautiful. It's a lovely booklet um, with a really good description of the products. It's what customers would want. You know, it's really lovely. It's something that will really help to sell the oils, I think, this lovely guide that comes with it. So I suggest, I've just put on my order, if you've already got an account, which you probably have if you're on this call, <laughs> you, you <laughs> then you want to go to your back office <laughs> and buy the essential oils booklet. You can get it on your doTERRA back office for £4.95. It's there at the moment under um, business tools, I think it is, on the back office. I went there today to check. So get that booklet so you know what your customers are now going to be getting. Um, and then, you know, when you do a wellness consultation is when you will print off, let me give it to the PowerPoint, you'll print off and take this live guide with you. Um, so you'll take the live guide with you and give it to them basically at the wellness consultation. So that's why you'll need to buy these off the, from the back office. You want to have a stock of these in your home. Um, they're not going to be very expensive, but you would take them and give them to them because they're not going to have that in their welcome pack anymore. Okay, but we'll be taking you through that more. Even um, the book they don't have anymore? No. Okay. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's just the booklet now. Okay. Pretty sure that's, that's correct. Well, I'll let you know that's not correct, but I'm pretty sure that's, that's what's happening. I think you're right. Um, so just to take you through, this is a summary. There's a part of it missing, but I can kind of fill that in. A summary of what the Empowered Success tools are going to give you. Okay, so this is like the doTERRA Empowered Success map here. So the first um, thing here we've got a picture of was the Essentials kind of a tool book that we that you can see on the Empowered Success where we just were on doTERRA.com. That is basically just people sharing some testimonials of the oils and can be used as a sampling tool. So it can be used as a first touch, it could be used in a class for people to just kind of look at while they're waiting for the class to start. Um, it can be used as you, if you give someone that you think could be really good a sample, you could give them it perhaps, or just have a flick through, just lying about your house when your guests come. It's, a, it's an introductory um, kind of book that stands alone. It's not part of the training system. So that's the one you can't see there. Now, the next step, is natural solutions class that's obvious that's that's going to be used for one-on-ones for hand any out. time it's a handout exactly it's an educational handout that you're using when you're teaching people about the class now so and i've been doing this class the last month and i'm going to do training on this in two weeks time it's it's been brilliant because people have that to then take home with them and they have it as a reference guide so it's much easier to follow up with people and have them take the class home with them but also it's so easy to duplicate and it's easier to make your class shorter, which is amazing because my class has always been really long. So I've managed to keep it shorter. It makes you keep it simple. So it's good. It's been, it's, it's been all right, baby. I've, I've watched a couple of movies during the time we've done a class a couple of times. <laughs> um, and then just to let you know the, what, what the rest of these, these books oh, well, are well, going to be for. Okay, me. so the live guide is basically for customers. Okay, yes. and then you move through 
So you've got the live guide for customers, which is 90% of the people. Then when you feel that somebody is ready, wanting to share or slightly sharing, or you think you might be able to get somebody interested in sharing, you give them the share guide and you start sharing, you start going through that with them. Then when you feel like they're moving on to becoming a builder, you then give them the build guide. Now some people might skip share and they might go straight to the build guide or whatever. So it's down to you to where you, where you put these in, but that basically customer, sharer, builder, depending on what they are, this is what you would then give them. If it's a builder, you're going to want to give them the live guide, probably want to give them the share guide and the build guide. Or you might just skip the share guide and just go live and build guide. Mm -hmm. And then so what the build guide does, so the sharing, so the customer and share guides, they're quite self-explanatory. What you've got there is a build guide, but you also have a launch guide. Okay. So the build guide is trying to excite people and interest people in becoming builders and to share the vision and the opportunity with them. Once they've decided they want to build and they want to go for it, you then give them the launch guide. Okay. And the launch guide then helps them okay. propel them towards becoming elite and premier. And then I've done the hard part. I was, you know, perfect. Thank, perfect. Thank you, thank you. Um, and the launch guide is basing all on pipes. So pipes is something that, you know, you've been doing, but you might not have realized. Um, but pipes is prepare, invite, present, enroll and support. So that's what the launch guide is taking your new builders through. So the basic steps of the business. So what we don't want you to do is go away saying, I've not been trained in anything to do with <laughs> pipes because you have all been trained in pipes. You just don't know that it's called pipes. Okay. It's basically teach a class, enroll people and prepare people to come to the class, sign them up, yeah. sample. It's so all that stuff. That's what pipes is. Yes, and then but what's really exciting with the with the support stuff that I find exciting is there's an actual booklet now which helps you be able to take your builders or take yourself through the steps of the different ranks. So this part is something we I think that's been really missing. Massively missing. It's yeah. been massively missing. We've had to kind of kind of do that our best, haven't we? And kind of support people as, as much as we can and help people to focus on on the important parts of the business at their rank. But now there's a booklet telling them what to focus on at their rank, talking about the blocks they need to overcome, talking about how to be inspired yeah. at that rank. And it's mindset, really good to it mind helps you with the, mind, the right mindset for that level, the mentoring that you need to be doing at that level, if any, yeah. or the kind of how to be using pipes at that level. Yeah, the strategy at that level. That level. So stick to that level so, and then move to, once you've achieved that, move to the next level. Stick yeah. to that and then move to the next level. Don't straight jump straight into Blue Diamond. Yeah. Take it a level at a time and mm -hmm. piece by piece and work through it like that. And it's done by, it's brilliant actually. It's really brilliant. I've looked through all of them. And if you haven't had a chance to look through them, you can go on to do Empowered Success and have a quick flick through. Definitely the one that you're looking to become as well. And then you can use, so if you're wanting to become gold, you would look at the gold one. But then you would also look at the premier one so you know how to help your leaders become premier. So it just keeps you really focused on the key activities. Yeah, because gold needs three premiers. So what are you doing? <laughs> You're helping them with their three premiers with their rank guides. That's how you then mentor. That's yeah. really good. It's easy to duplicate. And then when they're looking to become gold, you share with them how you became gold and the, the guide that took them there. So they then know exactly what to do. Exactly. So um, that's a summary of the Empowered Success. I do have a bit more I want to say afterwards, but I want to um, introduce, I meant to do this at the beginning actually, but uh, Melanie, if you could share um, some oil education, because this is something you know we try and do in our team calls, and sometimes we don't, and I really want to focus on some oils, and you've just come from Boyd Tume, and you had some good um, information you just wanted to share. Would you mind sharing? Yeah some oil education thanks yeah yeah definitely definitely yeah as um bet said i i live in the the states and um boyd was just over here doing a symphony of the cells and i know that it, he was in england in august and, and some of some people went and i was really jealous because i wasn't there and i wanted to be there but <laughs> a couple of months later it was my turn and um and so i went last week already knowing a bit because rebecca had told me you know what i'm nathan and um Know, what, what he did and so I kind of had my mind was open already to to the process but what I didn't expect because I 
tend to have a more cynical type mindset um, rather than a completely unconditional mindset. So I, I always, I go into things, that's my sort of default and I have to work at opening my mind to um, be a bit more unconditional. So I, so I go to Boyd's training already loving him because of the, the team training that he did a couple of months ago. So I, you know, I already loved him, but was somewhat skeptical about these protocols that he was talking about. So if, if you haven't been on the symphony training, this is kind of how it goes. It's a six hour training and he spends the first couple of hours going through a theory. And so you take copious notes or just sit and listen, which, you know, whatever your thing is. And um, so, so I really enjoyed that. And then it comes to the point where he does the protocols. And he has, I think it's 16 protocols that address a plethora of conditions. Um, and those conditions are, some of them are very minor conditions and some of them are major conditions. And uh, the whole application of the oils uh, that, he, um, that he does takes about seven to 10 minutes not even that really uh, and so it's a very quick kind of process and it's a each protocol incorporates about 10 different oils and he literally just layers them on your spine and um puts the res rubs them in your spine all of your back and then puts the residue on the soles of your feet and then has the person inhale um okay so so rebecca had told me before the event to sign up to be one of the participants because not everybody has the chance to have oils put on them in one of these protocols. And so I did, I signed up. I, I wasn't one of the first people to sign up. So Boyd, Boyd is the, Boyd's the only, uh, if you're the first person to sign up, you have Boyd apply the oils to you, which is what I wanted because I figured I want the best, you know, to, to apply the oils to me if I'm gonna volunteer. But I missed out on that, so I had a, a lady who I'd never met before, who was a participant just like me, she applied the oils to me for one of the protocols, which was called the inflammatory protocol. Um, my, I have, I have one kind of ongoing issue that, is a measure, that I can get a measurable result from, and that is a bunion. And I've been treating my bunion with massage and with the oils, and I've also eradicated sugar pretty much from my diet. And I've noticed that my bunion is really going down, which I'm thrilled about. So, and, and a bunion is a product of several things, but inflammation is the protocol that would address a bunion. So I, um, I get on the massage table and this stranger to me is layering these oils on me. And it's all very nice, you know, I'm just thinking, oh, this is lovely. You know, and, but no significant, I'm not feeling anything different in those seven to 10 minutes while she's applying all the oils. And then I get off and I go and sit back down again. And we're then, we then have maybe another two and a half hours left of Boyd's Symphony of the Cells presentation. And that is when my, um, I was really shocked. Shocked is a good word. Uh, because the flexibility in my big toe, which is obviously where your bunion is, was um, very measurable in terms of the increased flexibility that I had. When I, when I um, walk with my foot or when I bend my foot as if I was going to be putting my feet into a pair of high heels, if the inflammation has gone down, I can feel sort of a clicking going on in my big toe. I can feel, I can get a, a, a much higher angle in relation to my, where my toe is and my foot. Um, and so I'm sitting, listening to Boyd, and I'm flexing my foot, and I can flex it as the time goes on, as minutes go on, I can flex it much, much more. And um, and it just feels, it just feels a lot more, um, a lot less inflamed. It felt a lot less inflamed. And uh, so, so that was significant for me. And then, let me see, the class finished at half past nine in the evening. So then I go home and I sleep. And then in the morning, I get up and I, I went to the gym and I, and I could still feel that increased flexibility. So that, that really impacted me. That was on the, so the symphony was on the Wednesday, 
so Thursday I went had, we went to the gym and blah, blah, blah. And then I came home and on Saturday, my husband, I got my husband to apply the oils to me. And, and you know, he, he's, he loves the oils. I mean, he uses them. I tell him what to use and he uses them. But, you know, he's not a professional at all in terms of body work. So he just, he just did what I said. He dropped the oils on me, wasn't careful with it, just rubbed it all in. And um, the exact same thing happened again. My foot was a lot more flexible. The inflammation had gone down. Um, there was a lot less discomfort. And that was for the rest of the Saturday and then, and then the Sunday. And, um, and then tonight, one of my girlfriends is coming around who has a really bad back, a lot of issues with her back. So I'm going to be doing one of the protocols on her. And, um, and I'm just excited to, to incorporate them into the, my work, which is a massage therapist. And uh, hopefully, people will have a significant um, measurable result, just, just like I did, because it was, yeah, it was quite phenomenal. So, ma'am, which oils, Mel, were you using for the inflammatory oils? Which ones were they? Funny you asked that. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so they, you start off with frankincense, then you, have, you put on a carrier oil, so fractionated coconut oil, and then it's melaleuca, Wintergreen or birch was the ones that, well, Boyd used wintergreen. I don't have that. I will soon because I ordered it. So I used a deep blue there. Um, and then the massage blend, the aroma touch, lemongrass, Siberian fir, helichrysum, and then peppermint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's, um, yeah. That's amazing. Thank you, Mel. Because I know you've gone through loads of pain. With your, well, just I have. With your bunion. Nothing's really yeah. been making a massive impact, has it? No, but as I said, it has been. I, I've been using Cypress and the um, and the Deep Blue uh, regularly on it, and and massaging, and it has been going down. But this this combination of oils was that was the biggest impact for me out of all the things that i've done so yeah okay that's we're not sure when the next one is jay it depends on when boyd comes over he hasn't Mel might be the, uh, yeah yeah i don't know when he's coming over to you to do it actually but he will be definitely next year at some point so we'll let you know as soon as we know um yeah. but if i could take a message because not all of you will be able to do the simply the sales training and certainly not soon um but something that that i've certainly learned and was confirmed at boyd's training well, sometimes when something doesn't work, you know, if you give someone an oil and they're, work, they're doing it and it's not having an, an incredible effect, then I do recommend combining oils. You know, we're increasing the amount, definitely, first of all, and I've got a quick experience I just want to share about that, but um, looking at the other oils in the book or on the app, you know, they always recommend six or seven oils. You can also buy the Simply of the Cells book. Um, you don't have to go to the training to get his book. So it has the it's protocols. Not special, it's not a special massage that you're doing. It's just it's basically not, putting your oils in. It's not. Like Mel said, her husband just... <laughs> and that's what they, you know, I watched what we it. all do. I definitely watched it and it was Pile not a special on. massage. No. So it, 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 it's, the, um, it's layering. So that's basically what he's doing is he's layering, which is using multiple oils at a time. You usually, you know, you often wait about 30 seconds in between applications, but, you know, there's no absolute yeah. rule to it. But the combination of the oils creates a whole can um, like a it can be a very different effect than just one oil because it's, again it's the chemistry of the oils. So you know if if you are coming across the sample perhaps it's not working for somebody, then have a look at a couple of other oils on that list and add them in and get them to try that one as well and just work with that person because um, that's you know where you often get results. So that's amazing, Mel. So thank you. Thank you so much for sharing that. It's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. You're and, welcome. And, and just on that note, I saw so just saying about how you sometimes need more than a few drops. So there's the just really quickly, there's a mum at school whose boy um, having nightmares, not night terrors. It's quite common, and it seems to be. I'm finding more and more people at the moment seem to be having night terrors. And juniper berry is amazing for night terrors. You can try some energy balance because you might not have juniper berry. So do try those ones. But if they're not working then try juniper berry because that so far I have found that work on everybody that I've used that on. But this little boy, um, and I really wanted this person to have an experience because I've given her a couple and uh -huh. it hasn't really quite happened. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, you know, it's fine. Just keep, <laughs> keep going. And this, and anyway, she put this, 
the Jennifer Berry on her on her little boy. She said, "If these oils, if this oil does this to this boy, I'm going to be completely converted." So we all know how that's like. You're like, oh, great pressure. <laughs> Trying not to feel pressured, but really wanting it to work. And the first night, nothing. She said, "No, no." I put it on his feet, didn't work. I'm like, oh, "Okay, <laughs> that's fine." Sometimes you need a little bit more. <laughs> um, so she did. She rubbed in. Actually, my friend Fiona, um, he's doing the business she's a mum at the school and she's been using on her boy and so she was she was better than me here because she said um you know put put some more put two or three drops on the feet but also rub into his chest put it on his like pajamas put on his pillow she, she said literally just put a few more because I gave her a little sample bottle so you don't get tons out of there do you so she just said to tap and use more and I saw her today and she said that it worked so Let's hope it continues to work for her. But, um, you know, so don't, and I've had that, and it reminds me when these things happen, I'm like, of course, I've had that happen so many times where, you know, one drop or three of the little sample bottle drops isn't enough, or one oil isn't enough for some people. You sometimes do have to combine it. So, you know, work with these people. And, and again, the more time you put into people, they seem to, you know, really well they feel cared for don't they and then they'll come and usually pretty much always sign up i found so don't worry if it doesn't thanks, for, work. thanks for sharing babe thanks thanks babe is that you're telling me to shut to be quiet <laughs> so now i want to <laughs> ask rentia <laughs> thanks melia and um, rentia just wanted to share um well i asked rentia actually i don't know if she wanted to but she certainly agreed to <laughs> share a business um experience to inspire us all so Rentia are you on could you unmute yeah. yourself hello, hello. Yeah. <laughs> um well hi everybody <laughs> um business experience so I wasn't quite sure what you wanted me to share um so it, for me really this is just an encouragement for you guys is um on the subject of symphony of the cells actually is something that Boyd said at his training was just take your shirt off, just get the oils on them. <laughs> um, maybe you can't always say that in a cheeky situation, but, but so for me coming out of the symphony of the cells training, I, I wanted to be able to practice it. I wanted to see it work from people. I wanted to build my stories. So I approached a group of mummies and said, come for a free experience free massage is how I placed it um to get them in so that I could get the oils on them so that I could have that experience so they could have the experience um and I've got some incredible stories out of it I've had um ladies who weren't having regular bowel movements who were now like twice a day and sciatic nerve pain that's gone down 90 percent it's it's these incredible stories that I am now able to use when I sample people when I talk to people um, and I can use that at my classes it's for me I use the symphony of the cell as something to build the stories that I have I haven't been doing this for very long so I needed more um, so from a business perspective I just I wanted to encourage you, I know everybody keeps repeating what they tell us, our leaders, our diamonds keep saying the same things, go to events, join the classes, and honestly, they're saying it for a reason, do it, it's, it's important, and sometimes that repetition also is something that helps us remember things, remember to do things, or how to to say something or place it um, when you're talking to somebody, when you're sampling, when you're walking down the street, when you're chatting to that lady at the checkout in the till. Um, so for me, that's, that's how I've built my network, my first touches, my second touches um, and stories. So for me, definitely attend classes and just get oils on people. That's how we build our stories. Wonderful, that's perfect. Thank you, Rentia. Why? That's really Rentia. good. It's really good. It is. It's just the, this business is not complicated, guys. It is at times hard. It is at times, um, you know, you have to push yourself to talk to people because it can be a bit scary or making that first move. But I promise you, if, if you keep doing that and pushing yourself out of your comfort zone, 
you know, not everyone you talk to is going to say, yay, come and put oils on me <laughs> or be really open to it straight away. But you will succeed. You will. You know, you are your only block here. You're the only person that will stop you from being successful in this business. You know, there are plenty of people that are successful in this business and the pathway is there. Um, and now certainly with the whole pipes um, system that we've got, you know, that is like your cake if you want. So that's your, your main part of the business. If you follow the pipes, um, that's, the, that's the main bulk of the business. But then the beautiful part, the icing, is what you bring to the table. So that, that's you. And that is a huge part in what will make that cake successful. You know, if you go to a cake shop and you saw just the cake on its own, you know, you'd probably get the one next to it with the lovely icing and the sparkly bits on and the, the brownie. The brownie. Well, that doesn't have icing. I good, I good, good example. The without the, the chocolate brownie. chips, you're the chocolate chips. <laughs> Basically, you are what is going to make this business have energy and spark and really get into people's hearts. So I just wanted to really just end by, sh um, where's the PowerPoint? Yeah. Well, I just wanted to give a quick old experience. Oh, go on, baby. Do it. Well, it's actually in process because yeah. <laughs> when I was making soup tonight and I was cutting up a pumpkin, um, I, I'm not going to be as dramatic to say I sliced my finger off because I didn't, but it was really deep. It was pouring with blood. It was pouring with blood. So I put it under water, I put some tissue on it and held it for about five minutes. And then I ran upstairs, Rebecca was out, and I got my favorite oil, helichrysum. <laughs> got the helichrysum, put it over the cut, and the cut was deep. It was the skin was flapping and bleeding everywhere. So I put the helichrysum on, and then put put the plaster on, and it's been like that since. So I just wanted to see live where the helichrysum works. Right. It's risky. Oh, <laughs> There's no cut. Oh wow. Where's it gone? Where's it? Is that? I haven't seen it yet. So Nathan, do you definitely have a big cut there? Are you being dramatic? <laughs> no, it was flapping. <laughs> wow. Go on, Shay. No, they can't see anything. No. Looks it. like I'm an absolute puffer. <laughs> you see that? So that was a deep cut. That's it was a really deep cut. It was okay. flapping. That is really good. So you can't probably see this at home. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's pretty much healed, oh, sealed wow. up. Wow. wow, Nathan, we'll let Nathan go into his world of having, <laughs> being amazed by his oil experience. This is what you can give to others. <laughs> yeah, helichrysum is an amazing oil. <laughs> the words again. <laughs> Not the best one to start because of the price, but it is incredible oil. Incredible. That's how so, I got my first, that's my first experience actually, was cutting myself. I always cut myself. Yeah. <laughs> it's worked again. Helichrysum is Nate's favourite oil. Thank you, baby. So just really quickly, I'm trying um, <laughs> not to spend forever on these team calls, but I did want to just say a few things that have just been on my mind, especially as we go into the, you know, the busiest time of the year for families as well, for ourselves, um, life just seems to get busier. But doTERRA, it's just an incredible time to get your mind in the right place and get your goals and your vision get your energy right so that you can really make the most of November and December because they are great months to propel your business forwards. Um, and then you have a bit of a break in January. So you really do want to focus and, and get everything into the right, right place really and get yourself centered. So, you know, I just want you to think about what untruths are you believing about yourself? You know, what self doubts are you letting your mind tell yourself? And it, and it is your mind, it's your thoughts that, that come in and you give them time, you give them attention and they start growing. And before you know it, you can turn from an enthusiastic or um, you know, a little bit of courage or you have loads of courage and that can quickly get squashed. So you know, recognize, recognize who you are, recognize your significance, what, what you can give to the world. You're not your next door neighbor. You're not your upline. You're not your downline. You are, you're you. And you have incredible gifts to give in so many different ways, but certainly within doTERRA, you know, you are your icing, put that icing on that cake, get those activities, learn, learn the system, learn these pipes so that it becomes almost second nature. So then your personality can just flow and your energy can be felt by others. And that's what's really going to 
um, get your business to really start thriving or continue to thrive. So it's about catching your doubts. Now, I love this. Um, if your dreams don't, don't scare you, then they're not big enough. So this could be you. So you might not be having your self doubts. You might be having your dreams and your goals just here, just a little bit ahead of you. You're feeling quite comfortable. It's like, yeah, I'll do that rank in four or five months or whatever you're giving yourself. Um, you want to feel a little bit sick <laughs> by them. You know, you want to be pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. Um, I learned a really good phrase this, this week, um, over the weekend that I absolutely love. And it's, it's called, it's divine discontent. Okay. Is the phrase divine discontent. And I've looked it up and it actually is a real thing. It's not just something someone said and, and yeah, it's actually real. Divine discontent is when your inner self is, is not feeling content with where you are. So you can be feeling restless, you can be feeling a bit, I, I get it when I'm feeling like a bit, oh, I need to be doing more, I, there's so much more to me, there's so much more that I can be doing, there's so much more my business could be, there's so much more I could be in this area, or my body should be, or it, it's when you're not, it's when you're not letting yourself um, stay where you are, and be content with just, just being here, when your divine self knows that you can be way, way more. Now, this is not comparing yourself to others. This is not feeling you're not good enough. You know, these are where divine discontent goes wrong, okay? <laughs> so divine discontent is what, it, is what it says. It's divine. It's beautiful. It's what pushes you to be more. It's what pushes you to excel and, and make those dreams become a reality. That is divine discontent. It's what drives us and what, you know, it's, it's, it's exciting. What the flip side of that can quickly become is discouragement, um, fear, um, feeling we're not good enough, looking at what we're not doing right, thinking, dwelling on the negative side of it, rather than thinking, do you know what, I, I've been doing good, but I'm ready to push to the next level now. Okay, that's what we're talking about. That's what's exciting. Oops, it's not. Um, so, so part of this is being grateful. So you start from a place of gratitude for what you've already achieved, who you already are, what you've already accomplished in your life and in doTERRA, if you're focusing on your doTERRA business. Start by thinking, wow, I've done this many classes. I've done this many enrollments. Amazing. This is great. And then from that, that space of gratitude, love can grow for yourself because it's really important to love yourself, of course. And when you love yourself, that's when you can then give to others and give love to others. And that's going to help you grow your business. Um, but as it says here, if, you, if a grateful heart is a magnet for miracles. And when you are in that place where you want it, so your divine discontent is pushing you to that next level. It's not letting you settle. Okay, It's making you go forwards, climb to the next part of your life where you're supposed to be next. When, when that is mirrored with, with a heart of gratitude and then love, then that's when miracles can start to happen, okay? And that's when everything comes in line. And it's about trusting that. It's about tra trusting your heart, ultimately. You know, we can get um, discouraged from where we want to be by looking at figures or looking at how many moments that might be and going, gosh, that's never going to happen. Try not to focus on that. Yes, you have your strategy, you know, that's important too, and your pipes and all that practical side. But really, the thing that knows most is your heart. You know that you can do this, and you know what you want, and you know what you want to become, and what you want your doTERRA business to become. So let that pull you through and focus on that. And, um, you know, I, I really feel um, like I wanted to share that today because you know, it is our mind that often help, holds us back and what, what's held me back at certain times in my business. And um, the times when our business has thrived um, is definitely when we've been, you know, in that space of, of belief, um, but that exciting space. I'm, I'm wanting more and getting excited about it and getting everything in line. So that's my challenge for you guys is to, you know, go to the pipes, start looking at Empower Success 
materials, start familiarizing yourself with that and the practical side, doing your education every day, and we're gonna take you through those trainings. Um, but think about what, what you want. Look into your heart and think, what do you want? And don't settle and make your goals so that they make you feel sick. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Push yourself. <laughs> um, yeah. okay. And guys, look. <laughs> It's a bad cut, all right? I know you're saying... It's disappeared. I'm, I'm, re I'm reading... It's here. It's because you the oil's... Cut yourself there. No, but there's <laughs> people on there making comments that are really derogatory <laughs> about me sharing, that. bearing my soul and my testimony about the oils here. Okay, so <laughs> look, look at that. There's oils. It's on full screen. It's on full screen, yeah. Yeah, I put it on full screen. But they can't see anything, really. <laughs> Which makes me look like I've got like a little scuff. I have to show you when it was bleeding, aren't I? To believe me. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, lovely See, seeing you all Thanks, tonight. Jay. <laughs> Is it the other hand? <laughs> That's got to be Daniel. Lindsay would never say that to me. Uh, all right, guys. Keep going. Love having you on our team. Yeah. Um, thanks for everything you do and. Keep sharing. Speak soon and we'll be sending some messages. We'll watch out this week. We'll be telling you what's going on in leadership. So we'll yes, watch out this week. Yes, summary of leadership next week. And then empowered success training the week after. Yep. See you guys. Have Over a good one. out. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Ah, you're welcome. Thanks, Les. Bye, guys. Stop recording.